whatever. It's a, it's a good one. It's called Epilogue on Broken Benches. In Tompkins Square Park, we sat on broken benches, conspiring, confiding. Our children spun around us tiny, whirling dervishes. My son named for my grandfather, yours for a New Jersey beach town where you once spent the night. At four pounds, he crashed through your body, fighting for his life. Later that week, leisurely and twice the wait, my son landed on his due date and joined us. Five Septembers passed. My daughter was born on Labor Day. Yours followed on the first day of fall. My baby born with a cord wrapped around her neck, color slowly changing as the doctors gently slipped it from her shoulders. Your baby's smaller, watchful, serious, with little ears that stuck out. Mine, gazing at the world in wonder, as if remembering her narrow escape. I named my baby after a racehorse, Sweet Juliet, a lovely long shot that Saratoga summer. Yours, of course, was named Otania, a beauty, the color of an autumn leaf. I kept my eyes on the children while you talked. Don't look at me, you warned. Act like we're talking about nothing. And you spoke in two languages of fights, fires, welfare, hotels. We shared our pampers, our food stamps, our cigarettes. We reached for whichever crying child was closest, held them until they tired of us, and ran off. We sat on those broken benches through five pregnancies. One of yours, La Nena, lived only for a moment. We talked of closed cases, lost apartments, three babies' fathers of how everyone was gone, and now you're gone too, your body lost somewhere in Brooklyn. A woman cared for you as you slowly died, belonging nowhere and to nobody. The little boy with the New Jersey name took to the streets, and the autumn girl grew up sadly with strangers. Today, children swirl around the same park benches. They bear the names of ancients. They play with wooden toys. I hear our children racing across the playground. I see them fearless, wild-haired, unruly, socks falling down, shirts off shoulders, juice boxes and pretzels smash beneath their red, blue, yellow sneakers. I feel our last words as the sun streams down. We are the unknown ancestors. We are picture frames, empty as a midnight sandbox, only imaginary friends left to tell the tales of whispered secrets hidden in brightly painted but still broken benches. <laughs>